previously on Hell's Kitchen. One rubber snake. <laughs> After a couple of good scares. I am literally going to have a mental breakdown. Let's go, guys. The chef's adaptability and creativity were tested as they attempted to make tasty dishes with exotic proteins. Oh, I'm just happy we're not playing with tarantulas right now. What do you know about alligator, Megan? Nothing. Guest judges John Shook and Vinny DiTolo were impressed with T's alligator tacos. For me, it had great flavor. Good job. Unfortunately, Christine's marinated ostrich with orzo came up a little short. It was a little bland for me. With solid showings from Millie's blackened alligator with grits. You had the right direction. And Nick's spiced elk with parsnip puree. I think it's actually really beautiful the way that it's presented. The pressure was on Randy, whose ostrich burger. That really looks like crap. But even though it looked like dew, it yeah. tasted great. Clinched the victory for the men. Great job. Men win. Later, during Chef Ramsay's performance evaluations. Sit down, please. The chefs were asked. From top to bottom, how would you rank your team? And two chefs sank to the bottom. Christine. And Randy. Chef Ramsay then challenged them to make three dishes. You've both got 30 minutes. The loser will be going home. Let's go. Come on, Randy. Under immense pressure, Christine and Randy cooked for their survival in Hell's Kitchen. Got this, Randy. They each had highs. That lobster's poached beautifully. You nailed that. And lows. You're missing the tomato coffee. You've got this halibut that's just disintegrated. And Chef Ramsay was forced to make a difficult decision. This is so tough. In the end, it was Christine who said goodbye to her chance of becoming head chef at Caesars Atlantic City. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Awesome. All right, Randy, you did it. Good job, Randy. Those are highlight moments of Randy's life. I am woohooing inside. And you thought getting shot at was hard. Man, that was freaking just crazy. Shit is getting real. At this point, the only way you can get to black is if you go as a team. And I think if you forget that, you're in trouble. Here, you have to earn your leadership. I disagree. Leaders take what they want. I like where your head's at. My head's always there. It's a competition, and I'm ready to just lights out. I mean, it's, it's go time. I've been called every fucking name in the book. Yeah, I'm not. Megan, this is a competition. Yeah, I know. If we don't hate each other, then there's a problem. After a night of big talk and little sleep. No, it's too early. I can't do this. I need to sleep. The chefs are up early. Does anyone else want coffee? But not earlier than Chef Ramsay. Good morning, this is Nick. Nick, there is something very important going on in the dining room. I need all of you to get down here urgently. Yes, Chef. Hurry up. Thank you. Ow! Whenever Chef Ramsay calls, it gotta be something big. What the hell? audience out there. I'm hearing a band. I'm hearing kids cheering. No telling what's going to happen in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, my god. That's cool, huh? Oh, my gosh. What? There's a pep rally going on out here. Yeah, my right? trombone guy? I just graduated high school like four years ago, so it just brings back some really awesome memories. Ah! 
I'm not lifting you up. They really put on the show for us. They got the coyote out there. I mean, they got it all the way up. So if you couldn't feel that energy, you wasn't alive in that room. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hannah Bassett's high school, I love your energy. That was brilliant. Amazing. Great job. Hannah Bassett's high school is here today for their pep rally. And their homecoming dinner dance is tomorrow night, right here in Hell's Kitchen. Your challenge today is to prepare a phenomenal tasting menu for that homecoming dinner. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. I loved homecoming. I was in the band, I did pep rallies, I was on the dance committee. See you tomorrow. I'm really, really excited about this. Now, these three are the Calabasas High School homecoming committee. Over here we have Abigail, Hi. Max, and Georgia. They are going to be judging your next challenge. This year our theme is Mardi Gras. Southern food, definitely Cajun influence. I want to see like a lot of colors because Mardi Gras is really fun and bright. Cool. Fantastic. I've been stationed in Louisiana for as many years as I was. And I've been wanting to cook Cajun and Creole since I got here. So for today's challenge, you'll have 35 minutes to prepare one seafood appetizer, one chicken entree, one beef entree. Your 35 minutes starts now. Let's go, guys. In today's homecoming dinner menu challenge, the teams have just 35 minutes. Lobster's coming through. To prepare and plate three Cajun-inspired dishes. I know we're doing different dishes, but we're still a team, OK? Yep. Right a seafood appetizer, a chicken entree, and a beef entree. High school friendly. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little twist on surf and turf. The homecoming committee will then determine the winning dishes to feature on tomorrow night's menu. Look, this original Creole spice is here. Taste that, and you get the flavor profile from that. Today, Allison and myself decided to do a classic southern cuisine. Hey, the grits are over here. Shrimp and grits. Are you going to poach it? Yeah, I'll figure it out. High school kids, as long as it looks good, it has a lot of meat, a lot of grease, it works. Always a hit with the teenagers. Oh, that looks pretty. I'm stepping my game up. You can't just say, OK, we're cooking for kids, and then fry everything. So I made this pasta, which is what kids like to eat, but then I made it from scratch. Ladies, 20 minutes to go. Leave. To make a fettuccine in 35 minutes, it's a little risky. Is that pasta water right there boiling? Yeah, I'm going to put it on the side for you. Thank you very much. 15 minutes to go, guys. What are you thinking, Randy? The black and chicken pasta. You have to cook for your clientele. You know, I got two girls still in high school, and teenagers love the Cajun food, so I'm really confident about my dish. Is that your pasta right now? Uh, yep. It's delicious. Oh. I love New Orleans. Do we have any more bells? I know what these kids are looking for. They want color, so it's like red and yellow bells. It looks pretty. And then I decided to go with okra, because that's green. It's like Mardi Gras on a plate. All right, super colorful. Five minutes to go. Yes, Chef. Yes, thank you, Chef. Let's go, boys. Finish strong. Nick, you're good, right? Yes, sir. Me and Nick, we're making a chicken fried steak with lobster gravy. It's comfort food. These kids are going to eat it up. Let that steep in there? I mean, I'm making a bechamel and you fucking throw ham out. Relax, Jesus Christ. Josh is very amped up all the time. I need that plate, Nick. Right here, it's right here. Bring it over, bring it over. However, stern is different than being rude. We'll finish with a little uh, lime zest, Josh. I would do lemon, I would do lemon. Dude, I don't, I don't, then don't But we're still a team and I don't want to start a fight. 30 seconds. Damn, Millie, that looks good, brother. Here are your potatoes. Fuck me. Five, four, right behind, right behind, right behind, right behind. three. Two. Come on, come on, come on. One, and serve. All right, guys, let's rock. Let's come go. On. OK, let's begin with the two appetizers. One for the red team, one for the blue team, please. Thank you. Come on, Millie. Get it, baby. I'm going up against T and Allison. My background is southern cuisine, and every dish that I ever put out, they always say it tastes like they were on Bourbon Street. Describe your appetizer. What you guys have here is a jalapeno grits, finished with some cheddar cheese and just a little lobster on top. Wow, so grits with a bit of heat. Yes, yeah, Chef. How's that for you? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the grits? It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. Georgia, my darling. I love the shrimp, the sauce, and it was really good. Max, how does that taste? I like the presentation, but I think the grits are a little watery. And I think it's a little bit salty. Damn, what a shame. Fuck that salty bullshit. My dish was delicious. Millie, describe your appetizer, please. Uh, what we have here, we have stuffed shrimp. They're stuffed with crab meat and lobster meat, deep fried. And underneath? Mascarpone and Parmesan, so like an Alfredo Creole risotto. Max, how was that for you, sir? 
I think it's really crispy. I really like that. It doesn't wow me though. Ooh, it's tough. Max is not holding no punches. He's talking to like, you know, Chef Ramsey Jr. or something. How'd we go? How's that done? I like the texture. I like it. It was good. I would order that at a restaurant. That was so good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our panel, I'd like you to choose. Let's start off with you first, Georgia. I choose the blue team stick. Blue team. <laughs> Thank you, Georgia. Max. I like the presentation of the red team more, but I think execution, I think the blue team. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. And we go. I'm gonna go with blue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Great job. Great start. Job. Great start. I'm ecstatic. The kids, they know what they're talking about. So boom, here we go. We're starting off strong. Blue team. Yes, sure. Early yes, lead. Sure. One nothing. Next up, please, the chicken entree. Let's go. Look at him, Randy. Randy's uh, one of the best in the challenges. But when you go up against Megan, you need to knock it out of the park. Megan, please describe the dish. I made a fresh chive fettuccine and a cream sauce with some andouille sausage. And is the pasta made from scratch? Yes. Oh, wow. Smart. What's this on top? It's a fried eggplant skin. See, that's something like I've never seen before, and that's what I'm looking for. It's mm -hmm. visually very nice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Max, how many Michelin stars do you have now? <laughs> not, not as many as you. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, Maxime Bourdain out there. I mean, wow, I'm impressed. Um, Abigail. I mean, it wasn't that spicy, but that was, like, amazing. It's very colorful, which is what I asked for. I would say the only thing, maybe the sauce didn't add anything to it. Interesting. Uh, please, Randy, describe your dish. Yes, Chef. What we have here is a blackened uh, chicken pasta. Great. Did you make the pasta? No, Chef. I just used the fettuccine we had. OK. Max, how was that for you? I don't taste any seasoning. And I think it's not as light as the, the Red Team's dish. Thank you. I definitely would like something lighter. Damn. Georgia, how was that for you, my darling? I thought that was so good. I love the flavor of the sauce. If you had to choose the chicken dishes, is it from the Red Team or the Blue Team? Um, I'll have to go with the Blue Team. Interesting. Abigail. Red Team. Max. Red Team. Wow. Uh, Red team, well done. Megan, great job. With the score tied going into the final round. 1-1. One, one. Let's go. It's down to the beef dish. It now comes down to Josh and Nick's chicken fried steak versus Michelle's steak au poivre. OK. Wow. Certainly colorful. We have not won one, two, three, four challenges in a row. So I'm just hoping Michelle's steak is going to blow these high school kids' minds. OK, uh, Josh, describe your dish, please. Chef, here we have a chicken fried filet mignon with a little Creole seasoning. Really? Why would you make chicken fried steak with filet? It's such a great cut of meat. Abigail, how was that? I like that you guys did, like, chicken fried steak, because that's different. You guys did good. Awesome. I thought that you guys cooked that really well. It was delicious. Thank you. I think it's very creative. I just think when you fry something and you put a heavy sauce on it, it's not crispy anymore. Mm, interesting. All right. Uh, Michelle, describe this, please. Um, I have a filet beef au poivre with sautéed okra, a red pepper coulis, and a yellow bell pepper coulis. This is, this is filet? Yes. Oh, OK. Wow. I'm sorry, we used to have filet as well. I'm <laughs> just letting you know. Yeah, but you deep fried it. Mine is a lot more elegant than theirs, so I'm praying that they decide to choose my dish. The steak is very good. Thanks. But um, the okra is over seasoned. Oof, wow. Georgia, how was that for you? I love the simple elegance with just the steak. I like the way that looked. It was delicious. Nice. Abigail, it looks simple. Did it deliver in flavor? It tasted good and definitely like it had a little kick to it, which is nice. Right. It's 1-1. One, one. one to the red team, one to the blue team. It's down to the beef dish. Is it the beef from the red or is it the beef from the blue? Georgia. I like the flavor of both, but um, presentation and everything, I would go with the red team. Wow. Good job. Abigail. Sorry, red team. I'm going to have to go with blue team. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Max, it all comes down to this. The steak is better on the red team, and I like the imagination from the blue team. Tough decision. Um, it's your call. It's. Well, I got to go with the blue team. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good job, Nick. Woo! We did it again as a team, y'all. Congratulations, blue team. Five in a row. I'm loving it. Uh, red team, close. It's that overseason okra. It's just too much. Blue team, well done. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. You're on a roll. Good, Chef. Wow. 
for your reward, I actually asked the students to come up with something creative. Nice. Something that they would enjoy. And this is what they came up with. You'll be spending the afternoon with sword-wielding, swashbuckling pirates. No! That's, <laughs> that's so cool! Yeah, that's awesome! At a pirate-themed dinner adventure. I've never done anything like that. Yeah. You're in for a treat. This is a blast, trust me. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Get up to the dorms and get ready for your swashbuckling day. Thank you, Chef. All right, thank awesome. you, Chef. Good job, though. Good job. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> Aren't you glad we won? <laughs> Arr! <laughs> Ladies, your punishment will begin with rearranging this entire dining room for the big homecoming dinner dance tomorrow night. The committee will supervise, and because it's a Mardi Gras theme, I want you to provide each guest with a bead necklace. Unfortunately, all the beads are loose. You'll have to string all those necklaces together. <sighs> there are 200 guests, so a lot of work. Losing is one thing. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah, right there, right there. But you have to listen to the high school kid. Stop. I right, changed my mind. Just a little bit back, just this yeah. way. That has to move up a little bit more. Stop. Just a little bit more. It's like, just stab me in the eyeballs. And then move this one. No, no, so no, no, no. I don't want to move these ones. Tell us when to stop. No, no, no. Move. Yes. Stop. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. No, no, no. That's. All right, changed my mind. And then the first one right there. Oh, shit. No, no, no. You got to move those back. <sighs> Fucking kids. You happy? For now. You never know. Oh, oh, right this way, you scurvy dogs. <laughs> what a motley crew we have here. Let's do this. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is crazy. We're on a private show with some gypsy girls. <laughs> we got the whole building to ourselves. We got pirate sewer fighting. Do it for the gypsies! Gypsy women and all types of scallywags. Uh, yeah. These pirates are awesome. Yeah. 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 Finish him! <laughs> Randy's so excited. I mean, he loves it. He's smiling. He's, yo, yo! Uncle Randy! Finish him! <laughs> like the dance committee in high school really? too. So I've done, I've actually done a Marty Gras <laughs> You know what you're doing. Yeah. Michelle is trying to be friends with them high school kids. I was like the decorating queen in high school. It's annoying. I'm on the same level as you guys. We have two different color centerpieces, so let's try to mix it up a little bit. T, did you hear that? T, did you hear that? Yeah, did you? Michelle just needs to shut the fuck up, that's it. She's so worried about what I'm doing. I was just making sure you heard, T. I did. It's embarrassing. Like, worry about what's going on in Michelle's room. Leave me the fuck alone. I am clearly irritated at this. Please <laughs> stop pointing me out. Do not call my name for the rest of the day. I was That's just all making I'm sure you heard. I fucking heard Dude, it. It's a small ass dining room. All right, I listen. fucking heard it. She's gonna right, wound up so for no reason. We're gonna set the tables. Like, got, no, why don't you just do room? beads with Megan and let us finish this? No, you're not gonna pass Start me off with no beads. Do that look like the bead fairy? Well, no, you're gonna get calmer pissy because you're we're just bead. trying to communicate. Just be quiet. Well, you just be quiet. Uh, no. Be quiet. Just shut up, Michelle. No, stop fucking telling me to shut up, T. I'm gonna hit you over the fucking head. Oh, you baby. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and with the dining room setup complete for tonight's high school homecoming dinner, the red team prepares for service. What are you doing? It goes smaller to one. I know that, but I'm start, I started at nine and came down. I'm coming down. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were like, I thought you were going up. Ugh, Megan. She just, she's aggravating. Like, it's just, it's stupid. Please. The machine is backwards. I know. Oh. I didn't know if you knew. She doesn't know how to talk to people, and I'm just over it. Megan, please. We're going to be fine tonight. We just got to get through it. Let's send a girl home. How you doing, Millie? Good. Nick, you're good? Just what? You good? Yeah. What the fuck kind of answer is that? I said, yeah. What the fuck do you want? Josh and I had a bromance for a while, but now that there's less cooks in the kitchen and less voices, we're not even on the same page. I'm on chapter 33. He's in stuck on chapter one, the first sentence. So yeah, good. I said, yes, shut up. Driving me nuts. Let's go, ladies, please. Guys, let's go, line up, please. 
Gentlemen, how was the pirate adventure? Josh, was it fun? I had a blast, Chef. It was nice to feel like a kid again. Good. Uh, ladies, great job, by the way. That dining room looks incredible. Wow. How was that committee? T, tell me about it. Chef, they're definitely a, a, a special group of young people. Uh, you're being polite. Tell me the real deal. You all need to wring their neck, right? <laughs> right. Tonight, for the first time, we are doing an amazing high school homecoming. If ever there was a time when communication and timing was important, it is tonight. Make sense? Yes, sure. Sure. Get on your stations, get organized. Let's go. Come on, boys, we know what we gotta do. Okay, Mourinho. See you, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen for Calabatis' high school homecoming. Show with them. For tonight's special dinner service, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a high school homecoming dinner for 120 hungry teenagers. <laughs> for the Mardi Gras themed festivities, in addition to serving the winning dishes from yesterday's challenge, Chef Ramsay has also added a gourmet pork slider appetizer and a pan seared black and snapper entree to the menu. Here we go. Hands on deck, everybody. Yes, six cup of table 30, two shrimp roux, two risotto, two sliders, entree, two pasta, two fillet, two meatloaf. Yes? Yes, yes Chef. Let's go. Megan, one minute out, I need to drop the lobster tail. Yes, drop the lobster tail. Good. Hey, I'm dropping lobster tails right now. I'm on fish tonight, and I'm feeling very confident. I'm putting everything into it tonight. Heart, soul, right. guts, brain, everything. I'm definitely not going to let Chef Ramsay down tonight. So it's three twos, risotto, yes? Yes, yes, yes Chef. Chef, Chef yeah, I need... Watch your butter first. Chef, I need one more order of shrimp. Oh, no. Oh, my god. Whoa. Woo. Let's go on fire right now. Oh my god, I fucking set the whole flat top on fire. Okay. I can't believe it. Don't, don't, I am don't just it. completely embarrassed. Don't, don't, don't blow it, don't blow it. Just let it go. You put more fat on top. Please let it go. Woo. Okay, watch that. Okay. Right, you, See, get a grip a little bit. Butter's boiling all over the fucking place. I've never evacuated this place due to fire. Chef, I, hurt. And I'm not gonna start. Just stay composure, yes? Hurry, right, Chef. Jesus Christ, let's go. Yes, yes Chef. Chef. Fuck me. While T tries to keep the red kitchen from going up in flames. Hey, first table, two shrimp louis, two capellini, two risotto. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. The men are ready to start their first order of the night. Two risotto, two capellini. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna be at my best tonight, and if something goes wrong, I have to step up and take over. Tonight is the night that I shine. How long enough for risotto? I need 30 seconds. Yeah. From the get-go, Josh is very, very flustered. Listen. We're working risottos, yeah. Right now. No, give it. No, it's good. This one is wine. Tastes like wine, right? What, raw wine? Fucking Josh, what's he on? Hey, hey, all of you, taste that. Hurry up, hurry up! They're 17 years of age. What's the one thing you can taste in there instantly? White wine, wine chef. Thank you. What can you taste in there? Nobel wine, chef. It's like an alcoholic fucking risotto. It's full of white wine. We you trying to get them drunk? I apologize, chef. Please taste every single I taste step it, of the I way. Taste, I taste everything 10 times. Hey, so you tasted the white wine 10 times. Young man, you must be drunk then. No, chef. Uh, I will get better, chef. While Josh focuses on delivering a non-alcoholic risotto over in the red kitchen. Walking Capellini, slide Yes, in. yes. Mega shrimp are up. Let me know when you're ready to walk, OK? Uh, walking in the pass right now. The women hurry to deliver their first appetizers to the pass. Where's the shrimp? Coming right to the pass with shrimp. Let's go. Where's the sliders? Two sliders on fire right now. I got it. I got it. But one item is missing. Look at me, Michelle. You've got to talk. Yes, Chef. Shrimp's there. Risotto's there. Sliders are nowhere. Why aren't we talking? Sorry, Chef. Give me one minute and I'll have these up. No, I haven't got one minute. Michelle, your station is sinking and we need to work together as a team. Let me just help you a little bit. Give me one. Allison, uh, that's it. Move. That doesn't. That doesn't go on there. Oh this shit. This goes on there. This girl isn't helping me at all. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, I'm moving. If you're gonna do it, don't make a fucking mess out of it. Ugh. I'm very particular about the way that I do things. I'm not gonna put up food that's not perfect. Come on, guys. Two sliders. Behind you. Behind. Behind. Here you go, chef. Nice and hot. 
¿Sabes? With Michelle's perfect sliders delivered, the women's first appetizers are ready. Go. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Josh! I'm right now, Steph. Right now. Josh is finally delivering his refired risotto. Go, please, Josh. But Chef Ramsay is still waiting for. Capolini! Right now, Chef. Right now, Chef. Go, run. Speed up, Millie. It's raw. Huh? Hey. Hey, all of you. When Capolini stands out like that, what does that mean? It's under control. Fucking raw. It's raw. That's right. It's fucking raw. I can fucking snap it. I can snap it still into little bits. Bullshit. Get a grip. Get two Capolini's working right now. right now. Oh. I gotta recover. I gotta recover. Josh wants so desperately to be the leader of this team. He keeps preaching and yelling and saying things during dinner service, but he's not actually doing any of those things. Keep it up, Come guys. On, let's keep, go. keep the momentum up. Keep talking How to me. Long? Where's the Capolini? Capolini now? Yeah? Two Capolinis right now? Right now. Let's go. Come on, please. Walking. Walking. Come on, Blue Team. Come on, guys. We got this. Let's go, boys. To your left, Chef. Send that, please, James. With Josh finally getting on track with his Capolini. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for your patience. Appetizers are now rapidly leaving both kitchens. Two Louis done, working sliders hard. Last table. Keep it going, yeah? Yes, yes. Chef. Go, 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 Walking go. Walking two sliders, Chef. Walking sliders to the pass. And with both teams now communicating, the last of the appetizers make their way to the appreciative high schoolers. That's well worth the wait. Put everything away that we don't yep, need already. Clean up a little bit, organize, start over. With all the appetizers delivered. Millie, you ready? Yes, sir. Both teams are ready to jump on to entrees. Is that oven up high, Millie? Yes, 500, Chef. Are you ready, yes? Yes, sir. Is that stove on or off? It's on, Chef. It's, uh, it's definitely on, yes? On, on. You sure? Yeah. Feel the heat there. That stove's not on. All of you, come over here. That's not on there, guys. Well, look, it's off. The stove... Oh, Six my minutes. God. Oh. Yo, Millie, what the fuck is wrong with you? This should be easy. Yeah, off well, I, is off. All these, all these were on. All these were on. The flat top needs time to get hot. This is the first ticket, and it sucks to be this far behind. Hey right, guys, you have to watch. Check the heat. Check the fucking heat. It's like a high school home ec class in here. That's very embarrassing. My stove wasn't hot, so now I gotta keep calm and just pump it out. So how long for the snapper? I got five minutes. I'm gonna pump them in the oven, and then I'm gonna bring them out and kiss them, chef. While Millie works to make up lost time on the fish station. Millie, you have two more snapper right away after that, okay? Right. I got four right here all day. Beautiful. Over in the red kitchen, so, I thought I was working on No, you could stay over there. Okay, fine, whatever. Michelle and Megan are butting heads on the meat station. Don't get shitty with me, Michelle. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just getting thrown around the kitchen right now because I go from working apps to garnish when I was assigned to the meat station. He put me on the meat station, so I feel like, listen, he put me on the meat station, so I feel like I should be over there. I shouldn't be helping you. I already have this organized. Now I'm working the garnish station instead of working the meat station. Megan, listen, I can't just jump over here because I got assigned to the meat station. No, little one, stay over there. Megan can be really rude during dinner service. She can be a bitch, but she doesn't like it when people do that to her. You got it? I got it. While Megan and Michelle continue to bicker, over in the blue kitchen. How long on this two snapper? Walking in 30 seconds. Heard. Millie's snapper is making its way up to the pass for Chef Ramsay's approval. Walking to the pass. Don't oh, cook, James. Close the fucking hey, 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 all of you, come here. Just touch that. Yes, all of you, touch it. It's so raw. Here, give me up. Put them in the oven. Can I take these I got in the it. oven? Yeah, I got it. Millie really started from behind. The flat top was cold. He wasn't prepared, and that's why he sent out a raw snapper. Lift it up. Yes, oh, yeah, chef. chef. It's taken so long. Starving. Let's go, keep talking. All right, give me one second. Millie dropped the ball, but I didn't want to frustrate him because we need to get this ticket out. Let's go, Millie. You gotta bounce back, baby. Hurt. Are you okay? Can I walk the garnish, Millie? Yes. I'm good on my snappers now. Okay, hurt. Walking garnish. Uh, I made one mistake. It cost us two minutes. That's all I had to do. So I poured two more pieces of fish out the oven. Pasta. You want wow. to play working. Beautiful. Thank you. You nailed it. Nothing but perfection. With Millie's successful comeback on Snapper boosting his confidence, back in the red kitchen. Megs, how does that look? T is concerned about her Snapper. Just flip them, and then they have to go like they have to go longer. Minute and a half. Flip them. Yeah. 
tonight. I think it's a pretty simplified menu, but I've never worked with red snappers before. Uh, ladies. Yes, chef. Four fillet, one pasta, one snapper, yes? Yes, yes chef. Let's go. You have four snappers all day. We're picking up two, going with two pasta, two fillet. Heard, heard. Chef, can I go on this snapper? They're a little too dark? No, too dark. Too dark? OK, heard. Is yeah. that for this order? Yes. You better fucking hurry up. Heard. Cooking fish is very delicate. You have to have lots of finesse. If you fuck it up, you fuck it up. Timing is of the essence. Chef I've heard. While T starts over on the fish. I'm not sending overcooked food. Yes, yeah, chef. Heard, chef. Back in the blue kitchen. I thought there was lobster in here. Randy's chicken fried steak gravy is missing a crucial ingredient. Hey, who yes, brought chef. this sauce up? Too much, chef? No. Just no what? There's no lobster. Randy, was there lobster in that big yes, pot? Yes, yes. There's a lobster hey, in there. You hey, look. Lobster. Yes, there's lobster in there. Hey, young man. Oh, uh, fuck. That's what you yes. brought me. That's what you brought me. Is it? Is it? This, this, this is where it's so stupid. This is... We're prepared to fuck each other. That's I just said. There's no lobster in there. Is it? Randy, I, I just, I it just was want there, but fucking it has to be lobster. Let's go. Heat it up. Heat it up right now. Randy is dragging ass. He's bringing down the team. Get a pan hot. Add your lobster in, and that's it. Chef is always right. He's always right. Just recover it's hot. and go. It's hot. Not the question of hot. There's no lobster in there. End of story. Yes, Stop chef. Stop shitting your knickers. I need lobster. Yes, chef. Understand? Deal with it. Yes, chef. Shut the fuck up. Yes, chef. Oh, oh man. Fucking While Randy heats up lobster for the gravy. I'm walking with two snapper. T delivers her refired snapper. Beautiful. And Allison. Five pasta all day. 16 fillets all day. Has decided to help expedite yes, the orders. Hey, Michelle, you have five all day. You heard? I got it. I heard you the first time. Allison is running around calling all day, which means everything we need for the tickets on the board. But I just need to know what the ticket is. Six pastas all day, eight meatloaf all day. T, you have 16 fillets all day. Allison, stop saying the words all day. Six snappers all day. T, you have six fillet all day. She has six snappers all day. You need six all day. You need two all day. 16 meatloaf all day. Oh my God, stop it. I'm tired of hearing Allison's voice all day. All day. All day. All day. I hear you. I get it. Shut the fuck up. She's just hey, repeating the all day. you have six all day. Two, two, Allison, two. Allison. We know the all day, right? Hey, go ahead. Two filet, two pasta, two meatloaf. Followed by two meatloaf, two filet, two pasta. All day. While the red team is working on all of their tickets, in the blue kitchen. Last ticket, guys. Finish strong, please, yeah? Nick is concerned about getting out the final ticket. I need two snapper, two pasta, two filet immediately. Two snapper, two pasta, two filet. Yes. My filet is ready. How long, two pasta? Huh? How long? I am not confident in Randy. His eyes are glazed over. He doesn't, you can see there's nothing going on in that brain of his. How long? Two or three? I need two, two. right now. Two pastas right now, okay. Randy. That's it. How long for two? I heard three. I'm sorry. How long on two pasta? Come on, Randy. Randy, focus. Are you ready with pasta? Yeah, those are ready. You ready? Walking pasta now. Heard. Walking garnish. OK, James, last time. Yep. Good. The men have delivered their last entrees of the night. Good job, please. And the women. All right, guys. We got this, guys. Are hurrying to do the same. Can I walk with garnish? Walk with garnish for 30 seconds, please. Walk in garnish We're almost seconds. done, so let's tag team these plates and get these bitches up out of here. Red team. Yes, yes chef. chef. That's it. Last table. Let's go. Garnish up. Perfect. I want to just finish strong. I mean, the food looks great. Yeah, that's lovely. With the women delivering their final entrees, both teams have successfully completed dinner service. This is delicious. All righty, good job. That's it? Yes. Board is clear. Yay! We finished dinner service. Desserts are in the oven? Yeah, I'm about to put the other pan in. It was not perfect, but it was good. It feels amazing. Fuck yeah, guys. Hey, let's clean. Let's clean down, OK? Beautiful. Clean up. Oh my god. Tonight's service was a little rough, but we finished. And I'm feeling relieved. Let's be honest, it wasn't a perfect service. But at least both kitchens completed. But there is one kitchen that had the edge. And the winning team is the red team. <laughs> Good job. Men come to a consensus on which two people 
should be put up for elimination. How do you make the blue team stronger? Head upstairs. The blue team will get our shit together when the weakest players are voted out. Whoever makes the most mistakes has to be put up. And it's clear to me who should go home. I'm putting up Josh and Randy. We have to go throughout all 10 services. You have to. It's tonight's service. It can't be all 10 services. Yes, it's the weakest link. What's going to make us stronger? Go. I'm going Josh and Randy. <clears throat> I'm going to have to disagree with that. I have to go Nick and Randy. I thought Nick did a good job. It's garnished. It's the easiest station in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, make your team the strongest. You two are the weakest link. Time, communication, knowledge, and perseverance. That's what we need most. Yeah, I stick with my two votes. So you think that you're better than me? 100%. Wow, yes. that's crazy. OK, good for you. Well, it, it's not, that's not about being personal. No, 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 I just, that's, that's OK, good for you. That's crazy. OK, good, good for Why you. Why do you have to say Yeah, that's crazy. Why is that crazy? Because you have your, I mean, it's you. I, I don't think you would have to, but that's, OK. Nick, no way. You are not as strong as me. Yeah, I'm the heavyweight and I'm not going down from a lightweight. Jeff said, do what you have to do to make your team stronger. If I go home tonight and Nick stays, he will not give you what I will give you. What are you talking about? Nick, he's a Susie homemaker. You're a dick. Chefs take control and lead, and Nick hasn't done that. You don't know how to respect people. You don't have the balls to take over. Josh. And if you think you can run Stop 20... Stop fucking talking over me, Josh. You're a fucking dick. He wants to cover his ass every night. That's not true. He's trying to ride this competition, and I see right through it. I've had enough of it. <laughs> and I'm letting it out now, because now's the time. Yeah, save your ass. Now's the time. You don't have the heart or the balls to be a chef. You, gone, make our team stronger. You are you're Fact. ridiculous. Fact. All right, can we just vote and tell Josh to shut up? Because I've heard enough. I'm done. After a narrow defeat to the women, the men were asked to nominate two chefs for elimination. Blue team, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't good enough. Nick, Blue Team's first nominee and why? My first nominee chef is Randy. Randy was on apps tonight, and he got us off to a really rocky start. Blue Team's second nominee and why? Our second nominee chef is Josh. He started the night tonight, and it was off to a slow start. Randy, Josh, step forward. Randy, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I've improved the most. I think I have the most to improve. I can't cook as many dishes as I can, but I think I cook better dishes than I can. Josh, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? This is all I have. I try every night to make sure my team is successful. You have cooks, you have line cooks, and you have Susie Homemaker, chef, and I am a chef. Homemakers? Where? Maybe behind me, chef. Explain. I don't think Nick has what it takes to cook on a line, Chef. Nick has not been tested the way I've been tested, Chef. I've come back stronger and harder every time. At times, there was no one leading that kitchen tonight. My decision is... Randy. Back in line. Josh, take your jacket off. Yes, chef. You're joining the red team. Wow. Shit. Megan, make space for Josh because you're going to the blue team. Yes. Megan? Yes, Chef. The blue team is lacking leadership, but I'm hoping that you can whip them into shape. 
Get out of there. Wow, oh, this is crazy. But Chef Ramsay knows I'm a leader. He brought me to the red team to lead them. So I'm coming, I'm coming hard. We don't need Megan on our team. I'm gonna be able to step up as a leader without her. I have full confidence in myself and that this is finally my time to shine. Now that Megan's gone, I'm gonna take my team to victory. So it's all good. The red team now has a new leader and it's right here. This is like a blessing in disguise. I'm gonna step up as the leader for the red team and I'm gonna take advantage of it all the way. This was the first time I've seen Josh and Randy perform that poorly. So I decided to give them a second chance. Hopefully having new teammates will ensure it never happens again. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. I wanna take a picture of this, it's so nice. When the nanny's Fran Drescher arrives at Hell's Kitchen for a special event. What in the fuck is going on? Oh, it's getting crazy in the kitchen. Will the red team need parental supervision to complete service? Keith, you know how to cook the salmon, right? I got it. Michelle, when are you gonna put your steaks in? Who's cooking them? I think she can cook the New York okay. strip. Thank you, Doug. I say we just go grab it, a chef's coat and go back there and help. And when Randy thinks he's been sabotaged by his teammates. Who got the plates out? What are you talking no, about? No one's trying to sabotage you. Will he crack? Did you think it went that way? <laughs> and will his teammates survive the former Army Rangers rampage? Losing it in front of our eyes. All next time. I've got along with everybody till now. I just want to wring their neck. Trust me, I will. Come do on, Randy. Come on, man. Serious? On a cutthroat episode. It'll be an easy kill. Of Hell's Kitchen.